So far, we have explored what the MCB server is and how it is helpful in ERP application. In this video, I will walk you through how to install and enable the MCB server in Dynamics' ETY Finance and Operations, step by step. You can follow along with me during the demo and enable the MCB server in your own D65 FNO environment as we go. Before we begin, let's quickly look at some prerequisites. Your Dynamics is ETY Finance and Operation environment must be running product version 10.0.2428.15 or higher to install and enable the MCB server. Next, we need to enable the MCB server feature. Go to feature management and turn on the feature called Dynamics is 65 ERP model context protocol server. If you don't see this feature listed, even though your environment is on the minimum supported version, click on the check for updates at the top right of the feature management page to refresh the list. Once it is available, enable this feature. Even after enabling the feature in feature management, the MCB server is not ready to use yet. Turning on the feature only activates the capability inside the 65 FNO. To actually start using the MCB server, it must be configured and connected from Microsoft Copilot Studio. Let's do a deep dive into this setup and see how it works step by step. Now let's go to the Microsoft Copilot Studio and either create a new agent or open an existing one. In this demo, I am using the standard Dynamics CGT5 Financial Operation Agent available in Copilot Studio. You should see an agent with the same name in your environment. Just make sure you are working in the correct environment. Next, open the agent and go to the Tools tab. Select Add a Tool, then apply the Model Context Protocol filter. Search for and select Dynamics 65 ERP MCB server. Create a connection to the server and choose add and configure. That's it. Also make sure once the MCB is enabled under this agent, these are the standard tools will be enabled automatically. If not, you can just click on refresh and it will be enabled. Then let's quickly talk about selecting a model under the overview tab. As per Microsoft documentation, while GPT 4.1 can be used in other clients like Microsoft Visual Studio Code with GitHub Copilot and achieve good results, Microsoft is recommending the model for agents using the Dynamics 65 ERP MCB server is Cloud Sonnet 4.5. This model provides a better success rate in Copilot Studio over other default models like GPT 4.1. If Cloud Sonnet 4.5 is not available in your environment, use GPT-5 chat. Please note, Cloud models are external models not hosted in Azure. Tenant administrators must approve them for use on the tenant. Let's see how to do that. Open the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and browse to Copilot and then Settings and then open the tab page Data Access. Then click on AI providers for other large language models. Before enabling this, please see the legal terms. Once you are OK, click on allow providers. It will take some time and after some time, you can change the model from default model to Cloud Sonnet 4.5. Now let's talk about agent instructions. The instructions on the overview tab of the agent are the core guidance that define how the agent should behave. They explain what the agent is expected to do and how it should do it using natural language. When you are using the Dynamics CCTV of ERP MCB server, providing clear instructions is especially important. To get you started, you can use sample instructions designed for the Dynamics CCTV of ERP MCB server. This is available in Microsoft documentation page. This provides a solid baseline and can be copied directly into your agent's instructions and customized based on your business needs. I have copied from Microsoft documentation and saved it. Last but not least, on the allowed MCB clients form, you can enable existing clients or add new ones by providing the client ID from the corresponding app registration. You can access this form from system administration, setup, allowed MCB clients form. Our MCB server is now ready to use in Dynamics 65 Finance and Operations. However, before publishing it, it is important to test the setup and confirm that it's behaving as expected. Let's start by asking a few general questions and, and see how the agent responds. Let's test the setup with a simple balance check in the Dynamics 65. 
For example, we already know the balance for vendor 102 in the EVSMF legal entity. Now let's ask the agent a question about the balance of the same vendor and see whether it's able to retrieve and respond with the correct information. I'm in the Copilot Studio. I will simply ask share the balance of vendor 1002 in EVSMF. And you will notice within few seconds, MCP server will take the balance from the vendor and not only balance, it will also bring the balance with the respective currencies. The MCP server has now returned the result and it matches exactly what we see in Dynamics Executive Financial Operations. This confirms that the response is accurate and working as expected. That means our MCP server is ready to be published. Let's go ahead and publish it. Once published, the setup will be available directly in the Copilot sidecar chat within Dynamics Executive Financial Operations, allowing users to interact with the ERP using natural language. You can also publish this agent to Microsoft Teams or Microsoft 365 chat directly from the publishing channel. If you are not sure how to do that, I have already created a separate video that walks through the process of publishing your Copilot in Teams step by step. Feel free to refer to that video. The setup is now complete. In the next videos, we will explore real world scenarios that can be powered by the MCP server and see how this capability will shape the future of AI driven ERP. This is where things get really powerful.